default color striker. He might be, but I'm just ashamed because I recognize it right now. Wedges, it's plain Jane. I guess maybe there wasn't a good enough red color for her. Straight from the game. All right, so this is our winner's final, so we will be seeing a three out of five here, folks. We'll see how they start the round. Oh, I'm actually Back surprised. Dash. I'm surprised the pillow didn't start swinging. Mm -hmm. All right, nice catch on the dive pick here. Usually at that round start, Vanguard is going to have the advantage with most of the buttons that he presses mm -hmm. in the Exactly. All right, keep him in the corner here. Now start your guard pressure. Actually whiffed one there, but Wedge wasn't quite ready. Nice Very roll nice through. Very nicely timed roll. That was the perfect timing. And now the pressure starts. All right, guard button, not going to get caught. Early guard cancel, doesn't want to get caught. Conversions to 6C to get the block. And now dealing with guard pressure. Ooh, Pillow. just gets the slide out there. Yep, gets hit with the slide, uh, slowly recovering his mana back. So he'll be able to guard cancel. Nice, and keep jump low. Actually just lets it drop so they can keep up some pressure. Ooh, but gets rolled out on. Ooh! Caught by the dive too. I think maybe he wanted to try to punish that, but wasn't ready for it. And it is risky to DP that because sometimes you just trade and then you're still at disadvantage. Well, playing very patiently. Finally gets over the 5 AA to close out the first round. Here he is, hello. Very good patience there. We'll see if they uh, similar round start or if he's actually going to feel confident enough. Yeah, actually does swing this time. Yeah. After winning that first round, I think he's going to find a lot more liberty to, to really stick his buttons out there in the neutral, considering the fact that Wedge really is only punished at one swing. Right. All right. Gets more than 50% here, so really good position. Ooh, immediately challenges to get out. I said, it is my turn to play the game. Ooh, nice roll to get through. Wow. And good use of conversion, too, to extend this. Definitely has the meter, so he should be able to kill this. Pillow play extremely clean tonight. Uh, up, two. Just barely short of the kill. Unfortunate. This is one hit, though. All right, yeah, you can yeah. trade there. That's mm -hmm. when the DP is totally fine to do. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much a checkmate situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's either you, you've given up your chance to get out, or you you have to wow. take your, your gambit. With that button, whatever button that is, I don't know Vanguard buttons, into the 5 AA. So Wedge goes in. All right, so nice knockdown here. Wedge has not been able to really find his way out. And one of the worst things about guard cancel is you push them so far away, you're basically giving up your turn after you push them off. It's a stagger two A's. All right, nice. Working the tech out. Reversal roll and just nothing to be done about it. Immediately guard cancels. Ooh, okay, all right. Goes for the TK Tatsu just to keep his guard pressure up. Actually catches him. Continues yeah, the combo here. Good conversion off the five-man scale, and Very that nice. should be it. Yeah, definitely. He's got more than enough meter to finish here. Tatsu. Pick up. One, two. Bang, bang, yes, yeah. sir. That pillow is furious. Yes, he is. He's actually uh, pretty chill, generally speaking. Quite a timid hello. Round go. start roll gets through. Incredible. Oh. And yeah, that's why you don't like this matchup, because you you watch her slide in and Does just get away with it. Wow. What a brave soul. Besides, you know what? It didn't work the first time. It's not going to dissuade me. All right. Actually, DP'd early enough that he did catch, but he wasn't going to be able to confirm with any more Tatsu, so... Does get pushed to the corner? No confirm beyond that. Ooh, that could have been Didn't huge. believe in the hit. The trade. Oh, oh punish the no. attack. That is unfortunate for Wedge. So, gonna bring it to one round apiece here in game two. Great stuff from Pillow so far. Oh, nice run up. Yeah. Just gets the DP and then starts his pressure with the 6C. Wow, challenges with the 5A immediately once the Caesar walking up. Oh, really nice stagger there. Wedge trying to press his luck. Roll forward. Yeah, yep. even Pillow was waiting for it, but wasn't quite quick enough to punish. No! And the DP tails him yet again. I think he might be going for that when he thinks instant overhead is coming really all you can do is guess. Right. And if you're committed to the guess that it's high, you might as well just get hit by the low regardless. So the DP, I mean, I, I think it is.
the right answer if that's why he's going for it. Yeah. I think Wedge actually should have spent his conversion there. He would have built enough. Uh, he would have put himself into the uh, awakening state, awakening state so he could have supered here to finish out. I just don't think he was quite paying attention to that. Actually gets hit by the guard cancel. Oh, the 5 He's going to die for it. Oh, no, Wedge. I'm so sorry if you if you watch this back. Uh, convert early. Wow. Unfortunate. So now, instead of what could have been a 1-1 one -one situation, we are 2-0 for Furious Pillow. Yeah, very scary situation for Rhett. Oh, that goes right into retry. I oh. thought he was going to maybe take a second, but no, he jumped right in. Wedge don't afraid of nobody. Wedge is not afraid of anybody. That's true. He rolled in immediately. He staggers. Nice guard are cancel. Really just serving. decided he wanted to. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. And he was high enough. He's going to get full comboed here, too. Really does feel like Pillow is, besides the DPs, just making almost every right decision. Yes. That was another very early guard cancel. I like that because he wants to do it while he's got some extra meter to, you know, build up for the next one. Does not want to get guard broken in this situation. Oh, no. The roll wow, and that's not should working be out. It. For this round. I mean. For this round. It puts Wedge on the back foot. See, I, I think the real problem here is that Wedge picked default wow. color. I think if he picked a color, this matchup would be going more in his favor. And Pello on match point. Ooh, tried to clip him out of the sky, actually. Really nice with the one-inch punch conversion. Knock him down, take about a third of his health. Yes, too many highs. Mm -hmm. Interestingly enough, uh, have we seen Wedge go for the instant overhead yet? At um, all? not that I've noticed. He might have there tried was, it once there early, but... When, when he got dp uh, When he got dp yeah, that yeah. might have been the instant overhead attack, but... All right, good block there, but then he just needs that one straight hit, but his guard meter... Yeah. I mean, he, he's going to yeah. have to eat one guard break here. Oh, oh. never mind. He's just going to dive kick in. Very good decision making there. Didn't even want to exist in that guard break situation. Yeah. Considering how much bar and the fact that Vanguard had Awakening, that could have been too tough to eat that. Mm -hmm. All right, this is not a good spot because he's already lost a bunch of health, does not have a lot of meter, and his guard bar already looking dicey. And he can't guard cancel again. He's got to make something happen Good roll in the DP. Oh. Try the instant overhead and he got DP'd again. <laughs> All right, now it is your Ooh. turn to play. Oh, and he actually got hit. Staggered nice. 60. Wow, got away with a jump there for free. And the slide, the tippy toes. Right, can't quite kill here. Knock down, same some meter probably. Yeah. Throw? No, just pressure. Threaten throw. Good, guard cancel. Oh, oh no, no, but he didn't. Oh, okay, all right, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hello decides, you know what? You played well enough, I'm going to give it to you anyway. Yeah, you, you can have this you one. It's have this fine. One. I've got some games to, to throw. I'm really enjoying myself. I want to play a little more. You want us to be on stream more. I yeah. agree. Yeah, exactly. Get some more VODs to watch back later on. Yeah, exactly. And these VODs go up fast. This is friends. just his uh, just his study session at this point. Of course. Of course, you study too hard. Uh, you forget the practical experience of fighting Wedge. Wow, tries to jump. Vanguard says, get back down. All right, so he will lose more than half health here and be stuck in the corner. All right. He's going to wait. Guard cancel. Very nice. Probably just guard button to block that one. Rolls the 60. Wow. Oh, and the baseball slide. Okay. Knock down here. So potentially one touch for both players here. Ooh, and there's the touch oh, for Pillow. Wow. That should be Yeah, definitely. It. He's got the meter for it. Yep. Oh, Virus and T-Turtle. Well, I'm going to pass you guys over to our good friend Musky to finish this setup. Oh, oh God. Push to the top two. Misses. Runs in with a 5A. Ooh, gets clipped by the stagger. Bonjour. Bonjour, sir. All right, what do we got? Uh, we have got Curious Pillow putting on quite the display right now. Yeah. He has been playing really clean this match. Mm -hmm. Super good. I think one more hit will actually just do it here. Which has to be really careful not to overextend himself too much. 
has a bit of white health, so he has a conversion. And he comes good to death here. Whoa. Ooh. Good spacing from Wedge to avoid that. Good guard. Has him all the way into the corner. Oh, gets caught. But it is, it's going to be a light starter, so it's going to be a nice hard knockdown. Not much damage. Ooh, goes well with the baseball slide. That is a huge starter. That's going to be it. This is going to lead to a kill. He does have the meter available to make this combo finish. And that is a wrap. Another round on the board for Wedge, saving himself from the end of the set there. But Pillow still on set point. He can still do this. Feels like Wedge is finally starting to shake off the dust a little bit now. Yep. He's finally starting to get his stuff going. Mm -hmm. um, it feels like he's actually taking into account a lot of what uh, Pillow is doing in neutral and just trying to find the best answer for it. I think so. Pillow getting another big hit, though. He's winning a lot of the first interactions of this set. We'll see if he's able to keep that up, but the pressure game from Vanguard Walt, while definitely like, like, like really strong in terms of just making you block, he's not really going to be mixing you that much, and before he's in Awakening, the guard damage isn't that great. So all Wedge has to do is just kind of just kind of block it out here and find the right time to guard cancel. Striker has a lot less to worry about blocking Vanguard than the other way around. Yeah, for sure. I believe Vanguard's actually one of the instant overheadable characters. Yes, uh, him, Crusader, Lost Warrior, and Yep. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, here we go. Another dive game knockdown. Oh. And he gets hit by 2B. He's worried about that overhead, and I believe this is going to lead to a kill, Kern. Mm -hmm. And we are going to game Pop. five with these two. How could it be going any other way? <coughs> that is, <coughs> excuse me, quite correct. It seems like those first two rounds were Pillow trying to run away with this, but Wedge says you are not going anywhere. Not going anywhere at all. And now we are going to a final game here. Really good adjustments from Wedge throughout this entire set. We'll see if Yuri's Pillow can make the adjustments that he needs for this last game here. Oh my goodness, tries to press, but only minus three, and he goes for 5B to try to catch a dive kick, but that is not the option that Wedge is going for. Blocks the empty low, though. Good guard cancel. And now we get to play the game again. Wow, Sam just out. Oh, just does it again. God, man. It's going to lead to a lot of damage. Wedge playing the spacing game super well right now. Oh, tries to go for the instant overhead, and... Lands the 6C into the 5L, and that's the first round. He is going to be able to get the link there. One more round for Wedge, and he is going to reverse the pillow here. I should have been looking at the timer for these. Like, the rounds that Wedge win, they're like 80 seconds of the yeah, Wedge that... The, the, the pillow win, we're down to like, <laughs> like 30, 20, dude. Yeah. That, that's just the striker matchup, yeah. dog. A lot of striker players think this game should be first to three, but it's only because they play striker. Yeah. <laughs> Put you in the decision. Oh, oh, my goodness, and pillow is just getting opened up from every single possible angle here. Oh my goodness. We got the block swing going right now. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. Good. Honestly, good trade for Pillow. Yep. Oh, and he bashes DP there. Interesting option. Another throw. Pillow was able to get away with that uh, stab downwards a lot during the early. Oh, game. that is a huge wow. hit. He is not an awakening, so this will not lead to a kill, but it, it will be a one hit scenario for Pillow. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, the big swings. Call to this. Oh, try, try, try to tried to threaten throw there and bait a DP. That was not and the case. That's and it. that 2B was so clean. Gonna go for the nice easy tournament combo the to finish the super. Ball slide. Doing wow. wonders for Wedge in this set. Oh my goodness. As it does for every striker player. Safe. Here we go. Wow, man. G game oh, five. Yeah. Amazing clutch from Wedge. Pillow not able to clutch it out this time. And that's going to be Wedge moving on to Grand Finals winner's side. I have to go play. Yeah. In a shocking turn of events, Wedge's Grand Finals winner's side.